Hype, 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 hype. All right. Awesome. This is Solo Live Concerts, and we are live at sessions tonight. We're here with Henry of Hill Stomp. So you're headlining tonight. And um, what do you think are the top three reasons that people in Eugene should get their butt down to sessions right now? Their butts? Asses. One, it's on the couch. Two, it wants to shake. Three, we want to see it. Those are three great reasons. After this show, what's the next big thing for Hillstomp? We get to do a two-night stand in Portland at the Doug Fur, which is an awesome room there. We're doing Black Friday and the Saturday following. Those shows will be ridiculous. Awesome. Okay, so if you could go into any era of time and meet your musical hero, where and when would you go? Uh, it depends on the day you ask me. Right now, we were just listening to Live at Leeds in the van on the way here, so I want to go back to 1968 and hang out with Mr. Pete Townsend and watch The Who perform. That era, not five years earlier and not five years later, 68. 68, that's right. Great, so get your butt on down here to Sessions or pick up the vinyl we of... We love you, Gene! There you go. Pick up their vinyl, Portland, Oregon, off of Fluff and Gravy's record, uh, record label. Uh, what else? Check out some shows. Check out hillstop.com. And can, I go, can I go rock now? Yeah, go rock. Peace.
Hi, Eugene. Thanks for coming. We miss you too. We love you guys. Thank you. It's very bright. They may come off later. Who knows what else might come off later? Probably just the glasses. love song. Um, it's kind of a quiet one, kind of get his soul sort of in the mood. Um, it's a love song. I think it's the, maybe, in my opinion, the deepest kind of love song. Whether you're a man or a woman, the deepest love you might be able to feel might not be for a man or for a woman, but for a dog. I got one of those at home. His name is Merle, um, and this is for him. It's called Blue Tick. She said, Go with John till he dead. John Henry was a steel driving man. I say, John Henry was a steel driving.
All right. Well, you guys have heard us play that one before. I know that. That's the first song we ever learned how to play together. John Henry was a steel driving man. 18 years later, we're still playing it because it's goddamn fun. And the other part about it, he's John, I'm Henry, and way back in the day, we used to play that song at at John Henry's. Pour one out for John Henry's. All right, now we're going to do a new song. No, this one is not even on a record yet, but it will be on the next one. It's called Drive Real Slow. in white do you hear things in the night would you come without a fight would you come with us tonight you don't know we're called Hillstomp we're from right up the road in Portland Oregon and just in case you don't know we love Eugene more than just about anything we also really love the weather machine who played right before us up here tonight god damn that was good stuff yeah all right, we're gonna go back to the record we put out in 2014, which was called Portland, Oregon, and do a song off there called Don't Come Down. Yeah. 
This is a song by uh, the reason we pretty much became a band. This is an R.L. Burnside song. Just can't 
what your daddy see But you shake that thing and don't bother, bother me You unhealthy, let your daddy All right, this is a uh, song called Jackson Pearl Bore Blues. We recorded this in One day too long. Ain't but the one thing say that I did wrong. So I stayed in Mississippi. Day too long. Now, now. Go with Memphis when I get the road. Stand on the levee. Hear the boat blow. You go to Memphis when I
I don't often ask for rounds of applause, because that's stupid, but how about a little round of applause for Mr. John Johnson playing with a broken leg? And it's like the most cool blues story ever. The man uh, stepped off a curb in Clarksdale, Mississippi and snapped that shit right in two. That's the truth. And he, and he played his show the next day. I love coding. That's all they gave me was fucking coding. All right, this one's about love and about murder and about the very fine line between the two of them and about where we're from. We're from Portland, Oregon, and this one's uh, called The Cold Dark Woods.
We're gonna avoid a heart attack is what we're gonna do. This is an old uh, song from Civil War times um, called The Cuckoo. They are 
Pretty bird, a land she warbles until she flies. Oh. But the cuckoo, she don't drink water.
believe that day will come for a man like me. Well, I've turned it gray, I can feel it getting away. When I close my eyes, I can still hear my daddy say that you're gonna win, but I'm gonna fight it. This is really fun, you guys. Thank you. All right, we need to do another one from that record monster receiver here. Uh, we don't have anybody back there selling it for us, but when we're done, I'll hobble my ass over there. And uh, if anybody wants a CD or a vinyl or a T-shirt or a trucker hat, I'll be over there. Eventually, it'll take me a while. It'll take me about a half an hour to get back there, but when I do, I'll sell some shit. This is called Pale White Rider. the old ravine she must have rode in with the breeze she must have rode in from the east the Seventeen years, I keep to myself, live down by the pier. People here think that I am nothing to fear. The people round here have no idea. You don't want to see when the sun goes down and the kids are asleep. I help lost souls to find the light with the rider, she's coming pale and white. The rider, she's coming both pale and white. The rider, she's coming, but I've still.
That one's called Hammer Ring, and it's from an old recording of prison work songs, which grew out of field haulers. And so I just want to say that if you, if you like hill stomp and you like American folk music or blues and you don't know what field haulers or prison work songs are, you should go back to the beginning because that shit's important. And uh, yeah, it's just good to know where this stuff comes from. It's the kind of thing a couple of guys from Oregon have no business doing in Mississippi, but we did. <laughs> and it was, it, was, it was cool. I mean, you know, I think it's good that we're playing it. People got to play it, but you got to know where it comes from, too. Now we're going to do another Hill Stomp song, more of a Henry Cameron song, really, than anything. It's kind of a pretty gospel number. It's called Angels. Thanks for listening, we appreciate that.
Now we're going to go back to some of the party material. This is an old traditional tune that got, uh, actually traditional Irish tune that got picked up in Appalachia and made its way on to an Uncle Dave Macon record, which is where we found it, put a few new words to it, kept a few of the old words. And uh, it's a drinking song. You just hold your drink in the air and shout, won't get drunk no more down the old plank road. You don't have to mean it, but it's okay if you do. Ditch as drunk as I could be Won't get drunk no more Won't get drunk no more Won't get drunk no more Down the old plank road Say, Mary Ellen, honey baby Tell me what to do Should I lay my bottle down Now should I lay Mississippi last month, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't try this next shit in Boston, but I'll do it in Eugene. Cock it up, cock it in, I deep again, I came to win, but I lead out to sin, won't ever stop, cock it in, I back up, try to break a roll, got a whole crew up, right, just get up, stand up, come and throw your hands up, you just got to be a jump across the finger and see, let's go get Saturday she was buried Say Sunday was my court day True. 
Cheers. Thank you. Thank you so much, that is very kind. Those are gonna have to fucking wait or you guys will be unhappy with the way this show ends. If we take those right now, it'll end with us rolling around on the ground, like scratching each other like a couple of cats. We don't wanna do that. All right, so like we've said hundreds of times, the reason we became a band was uh, falling in, lo in love with the music of guys like R.L. Burnside and Mississippi Fred McDowell, and Junior Kimbrough and Miss Jessie Mae Hemphill, all that stuff out of North Mississippi. So we learned this song off those records, although originally it goes back to Mr. Book of White. And it's, uh, God damn, it's for you, Eugene, because you always shake them on down every time we play, so. Let's do that.
on down, mama, all I crave. Shake them on down, shake them to my grave. Must I love
So we got a few more songs for you, Eugene. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. I know, I think a lot of bands feel this way, but the first time you go somewhere and you play a song and a bunch of people sing along, like you just, something happens. And this is the first time, the first time anybody ever sang along to this song was at Sam Bond's Garage in Eugene. And uh, I don't know, one of many reasons you guys mean so much to us. So we're gonna do this uh, Hillbilly Love song for you. number here but if you know Hillstop gospel you know that means we jump and shout and clap our hands we stomp our feet and spill our drinks and we love our neighbor that's the thing right there do you love your neighbor on the dance floor do you love your neighbor across the street do you love your neighbor Mexico do you love your neighbor that doesn't look like you do you love your neighbor that doesn't love like you you just love each other motherfuckers
was awake until the dawn. You know I was awake till the dawn. Just lay down your arms. Lay down, Satan, you can't do me no harm. Lay down, Satan, lay down your arms. Lay down, Satan, you can't do us no harm. Lay down, Satan, lay down your arms. Lay down, Satan, you can't do us no harm. Lay down, Satan, lay down your arms. Lay down, Satan, you can't do us no harm.
You know, everybody, everybody who's not in a touring band thinks that being in a touring band is awesome and glamorous and just easy and fun all the time. And it's fucking not. It's a lot of work. But I got to tell you, if every night was like this, I'd do it seven days a week, goddamn 52 weeks a year. All right, we got a couple more we're going to try and do here for you. This first one is from Monster Receiver as well. This is called Come the Storm. Get laid low 
the crowd and movement in the air. and you all know how it's gonna go. This is the way we like to go out. This is an old song about a racehorse. Uh-huh, said that he blew there, uh-huh, in a storm, in a storm, and bet on Stu Ball. 